let us look at this question, which is uh, an excellence question in 2004 exam paper of NCA. Uh, and this was sent to me by uh, one of the students. Okay, so let's read the question. Okay, the question reads like this. Uh, find the value of m for which one root of the equation 4x, 4x squared is equal to 5x minus sorry, 4x squared is equal to mx minus 5 is 3 times the other root. Now, this is clearly a quadratic equation and it has two roots, okay? And they are, that's what they're saying. So, let us write this in the quadratic general form, which is 4x squared. Let me write the first form. This is what we have got. So, we want to write this as equal to 0. So, I hope you understand this step, 4x squared minus 5 mx plus 5 is equal to 0. So this is the general form or rather standard form of a quadratic equation. So the next thing is we need to decide what's a, b and c because we're going to use the quadratic formula. So very clearly a is 4, b is negative m and c is 5. Okay, so now let's read the question again. Find the value of m for which one root, I'll read this, one root let us forget this, is 3 times the other root. So, is, so what, is, what are they saying? One root is 3 times the other root. So, there are two roots. What they are saying is there are two roots. Very clearly, there are two roots. And say, let them be x1 and x2. Okay, so x1 and x2 are the two roots. And uh, one root is three times the other root. So what are they saying? Uh, I have to delete this. Okay. What are they saying? They're telling us that x1, the first root, is three times the other root. You could have written x2 is three times x1. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, what's the quadratic formula? Let us write the quadratic formula. You should be knowing the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of this whole thing, b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, this formula would be given in your formula sheet. You don't need to remember it, but it's good if you can uh, understand what it means. So, there are two roots. So, I have let x1 to be the greater root. So, if you write the two roots, I can say 1x would be minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 4ac over 2a. And the other root would be x is equal to minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, which of them would we call x1 and which one of them will we call x2? Now, this equation tells me that this implies x1 is greater than x2 because if x1 is 3 times x2, I hope you understand. Suppose if I say I am 3 times your age, obviously who is uh, who has the greater age, okay? Or if I have 3 times the amount that you have, who has more money, okay? Or I say... Uh, I hope you understand this. I'm not going to detail. So, x1 is greater than x2. I think that's very clear. So, in this 2, which is greater? This is greater or this? Well, I look at this and say this is plus this whole thing. And this is minus this whole thing. So, obviously, this is greater than this. So, I'll say this is my x1. Maths is all about logic, okay? And logic is something anyone can learn if you try to break it down. Okay, break things down. So, let me write this again. So, we have written, we have, we have been given x1 is 3 times x2. So, in place of x1, I can put this. And in place of x2, is this is this form. Okay, let me draw a bigger arrow. So, the bigger arrow, I'm talking about this. Okay, so this is from here, it becomes... Uh, very big, so let me write it properly. So this is minus b plus square root of, oh, oops, so now before that I had to write this. 
Now what are A, B and C? Let me rewrite. So my A, so we have got, yeah, we have got A, so let me copy and paste that and do that. So I'll try to copy and paste. So let me copy and paste this thing. Oops, I couldn't do it well, yeah. I think I can do a better job. Yeah, so copied. You can copy here and paste it here. Okay, so this is, I'm using a program called Smartboard and oops, you got it, yeah. Okay, so you got A, B and C. So you got A is B, A is 4, B is minus M and C is 5. So let us put this in this equation. So my X1 changes to your B is negative M, so negative B would become M plus square root of, this is B squared, so this will become M squared minus 4 times A. What is A? A is 4 times 5 over 2 times 2 times 4 and your x2 would become m minus square root of this whole thing which is m squared minus 4 times 4 times 5 over 2 times 4. So this becomes x1 now changes to x1 changes to uh, m plus square root of m squared m squared minus 80 I hope you understand 16 times 5 is 18 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 times 5, uh, times 5 is 8 80 so over 8 and x2 is equal to m now this is an excellent question so you have to be patient okay you don't have to lose hope because at times when you're doing an excellence question, if you're not patient, if you lose hope, and you start thinking, oh, am I going the right path? Okay, you don't get the uh, final, you don't get to get to the last result. So this is what the relationship is. X1 is three times X2. So let me use a different color now. So this is M plus square root of M squared minus 80 over 8 is 3 times m minus square root of m squared minus 80 over 8. Okay, so what happens now? So I hope you understand this is m times, let me do one more step. It's better to do more steps rather than less steps. So this is m squared minus 80 over 8 is equal to 3 times m. I'm expanding with this. So this is 3 over 1. So this 3m minus 3 times square root of m squared minus 80 over 8. So what will happen to this? What will happen to this 8? So this 8 and this 8 can be cancelled. So what we are doing is, for those who don't understand this, what I'm done is I have multiplied this whole thing by 8. If you multiply this whole bracket by 8, you can also multiply this side by 8. So basically this and this gets cancelled. Okay. And so the next step would be, uh, let me use blue now. So this is m plus square root of m squared minus 80 is equal to 3m minus 3 times square root of m squared minus 80. Okay, so let the bring, uh, let us uh, say bring this to this side and this plus m to this side. Okay, so this becomes uh, square root of, I'm doing more steps so that you understand. You can, I can, I could have done this much faster, but uh, you tend, you don't understand. So minus 80. So if you, basically what we are doing is we are adding plus this whole thing to both sides. So what will happen, this plus 3 times square root of m squared minus 80. And then you're taking away m from both sides. So this is 3m minus m. So this is 4 times square root of m squared minus 80 is equal to 2m. I'm going to divide both sides by 
2. If you divide this side by 2, you divide this side by 2. So what will happen? This, uh, so 2 goes in 4, 2 times. So this is 2, and this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So this is 2 times square root of m squared minus 80 is equal to m. Now you have to square both sides. So let me write that squaring both sides. Now this being an excellent question, you need to go through the process. Okay. So this is 4 times the square root will go m squared minus 80 is equal to m squared. So the next step is uh, distributing the 4. This is 4m squared minus 320 is equal to m squared. Now you can bring this to this side or collecting the m squared together. So this is 4m squared minus m squared and this you can take it to the other side which is 320. So m squared or 3m squared is 320. Now if you divide both sides by 3, you get m squared is 320 over 3. So your m, so you can do square root of m squared is equal to plus or minus square root of 320. Now this is a very crucial step. You should write plus or minus. As level 2 algebra students, you should know if someone is say, telling you if x squared is say 25, you should not say x is 5. You should say x is plus or minus square root of 25, which is x is plus or This is where many students do the mistake. They don't write the plus or minus because they think that square root of 25 is only 5. That's right, that, but that's not the complete truth. The complete truth is square root of 25 is plus or minus 5 because 5 squared plus 5 squared is 25 and minus 5 squared is also 25. Okay, so now you can say m is plus or minus square root of 320 over 3. Now this, if you write as a decimal, uh, this is 10.33 as 2 dp, 10.33 in 2 dp. Okay. Now I'm going to show you that how to check your answer on the calculator. Okay. Because this, this is not the exact answer. This is rounding to 2 dp. But if you want the exact answer, this you have to leave it in root. So I'm going to show you how you can check this. Uh, whether this answer is correct on the calculator. Okay, so now before that, let me show you where to go to run and type in shift square root bracket 320 divided by 3. Okay, now that, that's this whole number, 10 point, that's what I say, 10.3279. I want to save this as a number. I want this whole number. So I'll, I will use this arrow arrow key so press that and I'll say see I tell my calculator save this as a letter so I'll say alpha a so what alpha a okay it doesn't matter alpha b okay so what I'm telling the calculator is whenever I press alpha b you have to give this number so you go execute so this has saved so if you go alpha b now the calculator will be tell, tell me this number now I want to save minus as alpha a, okay, or any letter, doesn't matter. So shift square root bracket, no, sorry, to start with the minus. Shift square root bracket 320 divided by 3. This is a negative answer, which is negative 10 point. Now this I want to save as, say, alpha c. Alpha, where is c? This is c. So the calculator has saved that as, so let us check that. So alpha C is this. Okay, now to check your answer, you go to your main uh, equation menu. If I, I'm, I'm going quite fast, you can uh, stop my video and again listen to three steps. So go to equation, go to F2, which is a polynomial. And this is a second degree polynomial. So I have already saved that. So I'll, let me delete it. Okay, so let's delete it. So you go to second degree. So what is your A? A is 4. Okay. Now your B is 
b is the coefficient of x the coefficient of x was m okay so here it was minus m so you can put uh, m say as alpha b just like that so this will remember this actually this is the opposite because m b was minus m so we are actually putting minus of this okay and c is what was my c i forgot what is c c was okay where is my c so c is far okay so you go c as far and then you go to solve you got two equations i don't have the time to show you you can do this at your own time this is one root and this is the other root so this roughly you can see this is three times of this but if you do the calculation if you type in this whole if you save if you write this number and times it by three you will get the second root this would be three times exactly three times of this okay now if you want to get the other root so you press alpha c okay so that's the negative or in fact it's a positive i hope you understand what i'm saying so then you go to solve you get one these are the two positive roots so m you get this is three times of this number that's how you can check that the answer is right hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next video